And we welcome you to Elkhart Christian Academy, where we are just minutes away from tonight's game. Elkhart Christian Academy is taking on Prairie Heights. The Eagles come into this game 1-2, and two, while Prairie Heights is 2-1. and one. There were a lot of changes for the Eagles in the offseason. They lost four starters, their top four scorers, and they have a new head coach. Coach, uh, coach Hibbard will replace Coach Colt, who stepped down, but he is still on staff, but Coach Hibbard is the one calling the shots. Well, so far this season, the Eagles lost their first two games, 66-50 at Clinton Christian and 71-30 at Memorial. But they won their last home game, at, their last game at Hamilton, 79-74. And in that game, all five starters scored in double figures. Des Wilkins had 11, Bryce Corson had 12, Luke Burns had 14, Jackson Clark had 21 points and 9 rebounds, and Joseph Daiga had 17 points and 14 rebounds. So overall, it was a very balanced, offensive scoring effort and that is when the Eagles are at their best. Tonight's opponent is Prairie Heights. They are led by three players averaging double figures. Gary Culver leads the Panthers at 13.7 points per game. Mike Perkins is averaging 13. And Elijah Malone, he's a 6'7 center, 12.3 points per game and 2.3 blocks per game. Now the injury report, Luke Burns is out tonight with an illness. Seth Chichimiak is out with a knee injury. He's their tallest player. So we will, the Eagles will call upon Joseph Daiga to be a physical presence against Elijah Malone in the paint. And it will be interesting to see how Coach Hibbard will defend this Panthers team. Coming up next, the Eagles of Elkhart Christian Academy will look to soar to victory against Prairie Heights. This is Eagles basketball on 88.1 WVPE HD3. And we welcome you to Ron and Bush Gymnasium in Elkhart, Indiana, where it is time for the Elkhart Christian Academy against Prairie Heights. Tonight's game is a whiteout, not out, not outside, but a whiteout in the gym, thankfully. Starting lineup for the Eagles, Bryce Corson, Jackson Clark, Michael Cox, Joe Daiga, and Donnie Hiltney. Starting lineup for Prairie Heights, Garrett Kohler, Brandon Christie, Mike Perkins, Lane Bachelor, and Logan Parr. Logan Power jumping against Joe Daigo, and the Eagles win the tip. Corson has the ball at the top of the key. Gives it over to Donnie Hilty on the left wing. He's looking for someone to pass to. Lobs it in to Joe Daigo. Pass is tipped. And now Mike Perkins will bring the ball up for the Panthers. Nice pass to Brandon, to Mike Perkins. Wide open layup. 2-0 Panthers. 7 minutes, 12 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Eagles are at a severe height disadvantage. The tallest player on the floor right now is 6-2, and that is Joe Daigo. Logan Parr, Hurry High Center, is 6-4 as Bryce Corson hits a hope in three. And the Eagles have a 3-2 lead. Six minutes, six minutes, and 50 seconds left in the first quarter. Bryce Corson talks about how he always shoots better at home, and you saw a little bit of that home cooking as he makes his first shot of the game. Eagles are in a 2-3 zone. They get the ball inside to Logan Park. He's going to be double teamed, but he will power right through and lay it in. 43, Prairie Heights. I talked to Coach Hibbard before the game and asked him how he was going to defend Prairie Heights height. And basically he looked at me and he said, Joe cannot get into foul trouble. And that was an example of that right there. Tiger does not want to pick up a foul and avoids it. Tony Otanilo has the ball stolen away. Kicks it out to Corson and he is fouled on the three-point shot. And he will make two out of three to give the Eagles an early 5-4 to four lead. Six minutes remaining in the first quarter. Eagles still in the 2-3 zone. Mike Perkins has the ball. Gives it inside to Logan Carr. His pass is tipped. Out to Jackson Clark to guard Bryce Corson in transition. And he'll get the ball stolen away, but he stepped on the baseline. Or the ball was out of bounds off of Prairie Heights. And the ball will stay with the Eagles. Ball is inbounded to Joe Daggett in the corner. Kicks it to Clark. To Bryce Corson in the corner. He's double teamed. This is to Hilti. To Michael Cox. He will drive. Kick it out to Hilti. Hilti will drive to his right. Gets the ball stolen away. And Brandon Chrisley will lead the Panthers in transition. Gives it to Mike Perkins. 
and he will hit the three. Mike Perkins, he's averaging 13 points per game, three assists, 2.7 rebounds, and 1.7 steals. Michael Cox's jump shot is on the way, and it is through the bottom of the net, and we are tied at seven, five minutes and 14 seconds left. And that will lead to our first timeout, and we will take one with them. This is Eagles basketball on 88.1 WVPE HD3. And we welcome you back to Arca Christian Academy, where the game is tied at seven. Elijah Mullen has the ball in the post. And I believe he will be followed by Joe Jaga, and that will be his first foul. Seven to seven is the score early in the first quarter. Mike Perkins gets an open three off the inbound. It's no good. Steigel will rebound the ball for the Eagles, and now Bryce Carson will lead the Eagles in transition. He crosses the half court logo, gives it to Clark on the right wing. Back to Carson. He will attack to his left. Gets the ball poked away. But right back to Des Wilkins who checked in the game. And now he's pressured. He needs to pass the ball. Gets it to Jack Clark. And now he will drive to the basket. Up to Des Wilkins. His jump shot is good. Nice ball movement by the Eagles. Jackson Clark on the attack. Kicked it out to Desmond Wilkins. His jump shot makes good. And those are his first two points of the game. Inside is Wayne ba- Lane Basher. His shot's no good. Elijah Malone's shot's no good. Dust Wilkins grabs the rebound. And now Bryce Corson will bring the ball up once again. He is their point guard. Jack Clark has the ball. Goes to left, comes back to his right, and he is blocked by Elijah Malone. And now here comes Col- Garrett Kohler. Coast to coast, his layup is good. And we are tied at nine. Three minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Up and down game so far. Johnny Hilty has the ball. Up to Daiga. He lines up a three. Too strong. Rebounded by Brandon Chrisley. And here come the Panthers in transition. And that will be a carry. Hilty inbounds the ball to Bryce Corson. And he will set up the Eagles offense. Hilty's got the ball now. Passes to Joe Daiga on the perimeter. Out to Clark. Daiga has the ball back in the corner. Guarded by Elijah Malone. Thought about going baseline, but held back. And passes it to Desmond Wilkins on the right wing. Not a lot of movement so far from this Eagles offense. A lot of standing and watching, hoping somebody makes the play. Corson is putting the moves on his defender. His jump shot is good. Nice move by Bryce Corson. And that is his seventh point of the game. Corson has been a little bit sh- frustrated with his play early this season, so it's good to see him get an early seven points for the Eagles. Mike Perkins to Brandon Chris leave in the corner, and his three is in the bottom of the net for a 12 to 11 lead. Two minutes and 25 seconds left in the opening quarter. Mike Perkins has five early points, and that was his first three pointer of the game. Johnny Hilty passes to Daiga. Corson in the corner. His jump shot is short. Clark got the rebound. But Elijah Malone grabbed it. And now Garrett Kohler will bring the ball for the Panthers. Inside to Brian Batcher. Elijah Malone missed the lap. Gets his own rebound and lays it back in. 14 to 11. He is 6'7". 6'7", 250 for the ele- for the junior center and he has four points three rebounds so far in the first quarter Tony OD has the ball on the left wing cross court pass to Diger he's going to drive baseline his jump shot is good 14 to 13 one minute and 28 seconds remaining in the first quarter and that will lead to a Prairie Heights timeout this is Eagles basketball on 88.1 WVPE HD3 13 to 14 is the score here in the first quarter with a minute and 25 seconds left. Elijah Malone has proved to be a problem for the Eagles so far. Thankfully, he is now out of the game with four points and three rebounds. The pass from Lane Batchelor is off the foot of the Eagles and they will retain possession. (laughs) 
Eagles were in a 2-3 zone. And Christie will inbound the ball to Perkins. His three is in and out. Rebounded by Batcher. His misses his layup. Gets his own rebound. Misses it again. And Joe Jaga will be fouled by Logan Parr. The six foot four center. Perry Heads has five six footers on the team. Chris Lieb is 6'4, Perkins is 6 foot, Batcher is 6'1, Malone is 6'7, and Logan Parr is 6'4. Meanwhile, the Eagles have Clark at 6 foot, Michael Cox at 6'1, Joe Daiga at 6'2, and Des Wilkins at 6 foot on the nose. Portion has the ball in the corner to Daiga on the right wing. Gives the ball to Des Wilkins on the top of the key, and he will be fouled by Ethan Hoover. The 5'10 junior guard. Corson inbounds the ball to Daiga. Daiga has two points, two rebounds, and one assist on the night. He's looking for help. He nearly turns it over. Pass was tipped by Ethan Hoover. Des Wilkins got the ball. Passes it to Donna Hilton. His jump shot's too strong. And Cameron Pennick will bring the ball up. Loses the ball. Gives it to Brandon Chrisley. And now Ethan Hoover has the ball. He loses the ball. Joe Daigo comes up with it, and he will lead the Eagles in transition. Got cut off. Gives it to back to Don Hilty. Passes to Des Wilkins. His gym shot is short off the rim. And Mike Perkins will bring the ball up for the Panthers. 14 to 13. 10 seconds left in the first quarter. Cameron Penick's shot is no good. Rebound by Jackson Clark. And he will be fouled by Brandon Chrisley. 14-13, 5.7 seconds left. Corson has the ball. He has seven first quarter points. Three seconds left. He will pull it from the volleyball line, and it is short. No good. And that will end the first quarter where the Eagles trail by one, 14-13. This is Eagles basketball on 88.1 WVPE HD3. Beginning of the second quarter, Eagles trail the Panthers 14-13. First quarter leaders for the Panthers, Mike Perkins had five early points and one three-pointer. Elijah Malone, the 6'7 center, had four points and three rebounds. Overall, I thought the Eagles did a solid job on the Panthers' big men. Gary Clover were inbound the ball to Cameron Penick on the left wing. His pass is through the hands. Donnie, Dil- Donnie Hilty possesses the ball, and he will give it up to Bryce Corson, who has the ball on the left side of the court for the Eagles. Picks up his dribble. Johnny Ochi comes to help him. He will drive. Kick it out to Des Wilkins. Back to Corson. Right next to the half court circle. Joe Daigo is trying to get the ball in the middle, but they will not. Cannot get it to him. He gets it at the top of the key. Gets it to Clark. He comes off the screen. His jump shot is good. 15 to 14. Eagles now have the lead. And the. It's Jackson Clark's first basket of the game. Two points, two rebounds, and two assists so far is the line for Jackson Clark. Logan Parr thought about the jump shot, but the Eagles got to him in time. Elijah Malone gets a wide open pass. And he will lay it in for a 16 to 15 lead. Elijah Malone has six early points for the Panthers. Jackson Clark gives the ball to Corson. His three is on the way. No good. Rebound by Brandon Chris Lee. And he will bring the ball up against Jackson Clark, who fouls him. And that will be his first foul of the game. Mike Perkins will bring the ball up, who just checked in from Brandon Chris Lee. Elijah Malone is double, triple teamed in the post. He dumps it down low to Logan Parr, and he is fouled by Joe Daiga, and that will be his second foul with six minutes and 30 seconds left in the second quarter and that is not good news for Joe Daiga and the the Eagles Michael Cox comes to the scorer's table and I'm assuming he will check in Logan Parr makes the first three throw and Michael Cox will check in for Joe Daiga who has two early fouls Logan Parr makes both free throws for an 18 to 15 lead for the Panthers. Six minutes and 25 seconds left in the first half. Jackson Clark has the ball to Corson. 
Stiz Wilkins, they're really spreading out this Panthers defense. But there's not a lot of moving, just a lot of passing the ball around the perimeter. Would like to see some more movement from the offense. Wilkins will pass the ball to Corson. Now to Jackson Clark. And that will be a turnover on Jackson Clark. Logan Porras about the free throw line. Gives it out to Cameron Panic. His three is long. Rebound almost corralled by Elijah Malone. But Donnie Hilti comes up with the loose ball and defers it to Bryce Corson, who picks the ball up just about every time for this Eagles offense. Des Wilkins has the ball. He's just kind of standing there looking for someone to pass to. He'll finally attack Malone, and he will get to the basket. And he will be fouled on his way to the rim. And that foul is on Elijah Malone, and that is his second foul of the game. The 6-7 center. Clarver inbound the ball. Corson came up with a screen, but was not open. Got the ball in a handoff from Donnie Hilti, and he traveled. And that is the Eagles' fourth turnover of the game. Cameron Panic bring the ball up. Lob it into Elijah Malone, guarded by Donnie Hilti. Logan Parr in the post. Nice move. Mechanic made the layup. Misses it. Gets his own rebound. Misses it again. But Elijah Malone is there to put it in. For a 20 to 15 lead. Four minutes and 55 seconds left. And that is eight points for Elijah Malone. And he just grabbed another defensive rebound. And Garrett Culver will bring the ball up for Perry Heights. Cameron Prennick has the ball inside the par. And that will be an offensive foul. Had the ball in the post against Michael Cox. Looks like he moved his elbow to get Cox out of the way and that will be a foul and his second of the game. 25, excuse me, 20 to 15. Four minutes and 30 seconds left and that will be a timeout. This is Eagles basketball on 88.1 WVPE HD3. 20 to 15 is the score with 4 minutes and 43 seconds left remaining in the first half. Elijah Malone, he is continuing to be a problem. 8 points, 5 rebounds, and most of those are on offensive rebounds as Corson turns the ball over on the inbounds. And Mike Perkins will lay it in for his 7th point of the game. Corson's double teamed in the corner. Perkins gets the ball into Chris Lee. Perkins will drive. Kick out to Lane Bachelor. His three is no good. Logan Park gets another offensive rebound. Clover in the corner. Wide open to Brandon Chris Lee. And his three is good. And it is now a 10 point lead for the Panthers. 25 to 15. Tony Hilti in transition. Fakes the pass. His layup is no good. And Logan Park has the ball to Mike Perkins. Will drive spin move. And will lay it and almost got the end one to go. But he will head to the line for two shots with a 25 to 15 lead. Well, the Eagles have some work to do down 25 to 15. Three minutes and 59 seconds remaining. Mike Perkins is at the free, free throw line. Bryce Corson will bring the ball up. He has seven first quarter points, but none here in the second. Des Wilkins, so look, he threw an elbow, got away with the call. Loses the ball, but it will stay with the Eagles. Justin Clark in on the ball. He has two points, two rebounds, and two assists so far in this one. Gets it to Corson. Back to Clark. He will drive with his right hand. Get cut off. Gets it to Bryce Schrock, who just checked in. He is the sophomore guard. Played on the JV, but now is on a swing. Bradshaw. We're inbound the ball to Perkins. Back to Chris Lee, who will set up the Panthers offense against ECA. Fuller will come off the screen, gives it to Perkins, comes off of the screen from Logan Parr. Parr into Parr, and he will lay it in. That is now a 13 point deficit for the Eagles. 28 to 15, and now the Prairie Heights is pressuring. Joe Dago will bring the ball up. Crosses over, spins, his shot is short. Rebound by Logan Parr, and Garrett Kohler will bring the ball up. His pass was off. The foot bounced off the glass. Logan Park misses his layup. 
And that's not what you want to see. Elijah Malone checks back into the game for Logan Parr. One six further for another. Six four Parr checks out and six seven Malone checks in. As Corson hits both free throws for a 28 to 17 deficit. Malone has fallen in the corner, guarded by Daiga. He will give it to Kohler, drives, his jump shot is short. Rebound by Bryce Schrock, nearly stepped out of bounds. Gives it to Daiga, defers to Corson, and now he will bring the ball up, guarded by Culver. He was really spreading out this Panthers defense as Clark will drive to the basket. Kick out to Schrock in the corner, pump fakes, passes to Daiga, and his three is in the bottom of the net. <laughs> It is now an eight-point deficit for the Eagles. 28 to 20, two minutes and 13 seconds left in the first quarter. Cole trying to pass the ball in the Malone. It's stolen by Daiga. Gets it to Corson, and he will come up. Passes it to Schrock on the left wing. Gives it back to Corson. To Daiga, he thought about it, wisely pulled out. That would have been a really deep three. Gives it to Corson, back to Daiga. His pass is errant. But it was last pla- last touch by Prairie Heights, and it will stay with the Eagles. Cameron Panic lobs it up to Malone, out of control. Malone passes it back to Panic. His three is no good. Dagger will track down the rebound, and here comes Bryce Carson and the Eagles, who trail 28 to 20. One minute and 23 seconds left in the first half. Dagger will line up with three. It is no good. Rebounded by Lane Bachelor and Cameron Pennock will bring the ball up for the Panthers. He will attack Corson. Gives it up to Malone, who is guarded by Dagger. He has three fouls. He cannot pick up his fourth. Christie will come up for screen from Malone. Kicks it out to Pennock in the corner. Gives it to Malone. He's going to be double teamed by Dagger and Corson. And Malone will turn it over. Try to get it inside. We're passing right to Desmond Wilkins. And now Bryce Corson will lead the Eagles. He will pull up for three. It was a lot of contact, no foul. Panic gives the ball inside to Chris Lee. And they will call a jump ball. And I believe they will give the ball to the Eagles. And Michael Cox checks in for Joe Daiga. With 30, 35 seconds left in the first half. Eagles will be pressured. Turnover by Jackson Clark in the inbounds. Clark is passed, but that pass is deflected, and that is a turnover for Prairie Heights. Eagles trail 28 to 20. 23 seconds left in the first half. Bryce Shark is looking for help. He'll take a couple dribbles. Pick up his dribble. He needs the help. Gives it to Clark. He'll drive left, and he is blocked. He is blocked by Chris Lee. Bryce Shrek shot the ball, it is no good. Clover bent his knees and released the shot. And it is good, it is a six point deficit. 28 to 22, four seconds left. Malone has the ball in the corner, he will dribble. Gives it back to Kat Panic, and his three is good at the buzzer. What a heartbreaking way to end the first half for the Eagles. Cut the deficit to six. A little bit of a defensive breakdown at the end, and it is now a nine point deficit going into halftime. 31 to 22. This is Eagles basketball on 88.1 WVPE HD3. Beginning of the second half here at Oakhart Christian Academy, the Eagles have a lot of work to do. They're down nine. 31 to 22 is the score. First half leaders for the Eagles, Bryce Corson has nine points, seven of those in the first quarter, and one three pointer. On the Panthers' side, Mike Perkins has been a monster. He's got eight points, two rebounds. Elijah Malone has eight points and five rebounds. Kohler has the ball in the corner. He's going to come off a screen from Lane Bachelor, and his layup is good. Knifed his way through the Eagles' defense. Got a crafty layup. And now it is an 11-point lead for the Panthers. It was six right before halftime. Then the... Panthers hit a clutch buzzer beater three to extend lead to nine as Bryce Carson hits a fadeaway jump shot. He now has 11 points. Assist goes to Donnie Hilty and the deficit is back down to nine. Kohler comes off another screen, lobs up to Malone and he will lay it in very easily. 
Absolutely no one near him. 35 to 24. Malone now has 10. Lucas a little bit out of control breaking that press. But he will be fouled. And the Eagles will keep possession. The foul will be on Lane Bachelor. And that will be his second foul. Clark inbounds the ball to Corson, who works against Garrett Kohler. Comes off a screen from Hilti, passes to Clark, takes a couple dribbles, his jump shot is short. Rebound tipped out to Mike Perkins, and he will push your head to Kohler. Has the ball in the corner, drives on Corson, dumps Linda Bachelor, his layup is no good, he gets his, nearly gets his own rebound. Perkins gets the ball, and his layup is no good, off the glass. Rebound corralled by Bryce Corson. And he will bring the ball up on the left side of the floor for the Eagles. Person with the handoff to Clara. Now he hands hands off to Hilti. Zanga has the ball at the top of the key. Picked up his dribble. He gives it right back to Des Wilkins. He will drive to the basket. His floater is good. And that will lead to a timeout for Coach Hibbert and the Eagles. Who trail 35-26. to 26. 6 minutes and 12 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Chris Lee will bring the ball up, guarded against Jack Clark. He's being pressured. Gives it up to Perkins, who's guarded very tightly by Des Wilkins. He's going to be nearly double teamed. Kicks it inside to Malone, guarded by Daiga. Chris Lee back out to Malone, thought about the three. Passes it to Perkins on the left wing, and his three is good. 38 26. Five minutes and 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Corson was double teamed. Gets out of it, passes it to Wilkins, who will drive, and he will be fouled by Lane Bachelor. Corson gets the pass from Donnie Hilti. His three is no good. Rebound by Joe Jagger. Strong rebound over Elijah Malone. He has the ball in the corner. His three is blocked by Malone. And now Mike Perkins bring the ball up in transition ahead to Culver. His layup is no good, but he is fouled on the way up. And he will head to the free throw line for two shots. The foul is on Bryce Corson. And that is his first of the game. Fuller's second free throw is good. And Prairie Heights now has a 14 point lead over the Eagles. Clark's inbounds pass is to Donnie Hilti. Hilti gives it back to Clark. Now to Corson. He's double teamed. Gives it to Hilti. To Daiga in the middle. To Noah Hart. And he gets swatted by Elijah Malone. Hunt thought he had a layup, but Malone came in, swatted it out of bounds, but the Eagles will regain possession. Clarver inbound the ball to Bryce Carson on the wing. He's going to shoot a three, and he's going to hit it. Bryce Carson now has 14 points on the night. That's his second three-pointer of the game, but the Eagles still trail 40-29. to 29. Four minutes and 20 seconds left in the third quarter. Cole Jeffs right past Carson, and his layup is good. Through the contact, and he will head to the line for a three-point play. Kohler has eight points, one rebound, and three assists on the night. Foul is going to be on Noah Hunt. That's his first. Rebound is no good by Kohler, but it's going to be tipped in by Brandon Chrisley. 44-29 is the deficit for the Eagles. Four minutes left in the third quarter. Thing is going to be double teamed, passes it into Hunt. To Hyoti. The car is the ball into Hunt. He's going to shoot it over Malone. That's off the glass. Rebound by Garrett Kohler in transition. Kicks it to Bachelor. Cross court pass to Perkins. He's wide open. And his three is good. 47 to 29. Three minutes and 40 seconds left. And the wheels are just falling off for the Eagles right now. Three minutes and 30 seconds remain in the third quarter, and not a lot has gone right for the Eagles in the second half. They trail 47 to 29, and Mike Perkins, Brandon Christie, and Elijah Malone have gone off so far for Prairie Heights. First Corson will bring the ball up for the Eagles. Joe Dega has the ball on the left wing. He's going to attack Eric Kohler. Crosses over to his left. His floater in the lane is short. That was an air ball. Rebounded by Elijah Malone. And now Mike Perkins will bring the ball in transition. Passes to Cole. He's wide open, but his three is short. Nobody picked him up, and the Eagles are lucky that Cole missed that shot because Coach Hibbert would not have been happy. Bryce Corson with a reckless drive to the lane. He just kind of threw it up there off the glass. 
But the ball was last touched by Prairie Heights. And the Eagles will retain possession. Corson has 14 points, 3 rebounds, 2 3 pointers, and 4 free throws. Corson will drive, pass inside to Daiga, back out to Corson on the left wing. Clark is wide open for 3. Ball goes in and out, Hunt tips the rebound. But, excuse me, Lane Batcher will rebound the ball for Perry Heights, and Garrett Kohler will bring the ball up with 8 points. Two rebounds. That is a turnover for Perry Heights. Joe Daiga had a lane to the basket but lost his dribble. Nearly turned it over on the pass to Donnie Hilty. Swung to Corson. Swung to Clark. And he makes his three. 47 to 32 is the score. Justin Clark now has seven points, three rebounds, and two assists on the night. Brasher kicks out to Perkins. Inside. Inside to Brendan Chris lead, and that is another and one for Prairie Heights, and they lead 49 to 32. A minute and 54 seconds remaining. Finally gives it up to Corson. He's going to be double teamed on his dribble. Escapes out of it, gives it to Hilti. Cross court pass to Daiga. Not a lot of moving from the Seagulls offense. Corson's going to move. He has the ball on the left wing. He's going to drive. His jump shot is long. That was a wild shot by Corson. Rebound by Noah Hunt, but he traveled. And that sequence of events pretty much summarizes this second half for the Eagles. They trail 50 to 32. A minute and 15 seconds left. Not the ideal second half so far. And now Des Wilkins will check in for Donnie Hilty, who has one rebound and two assists. Clark will lob it up to Carson. To Daiga, his three is on the way and it's way short. Offensive rebound by Noah Hunt. His rebound is no good. His shot is no good. Rebounding was by Logan Park. He lost the ball. Des Wilkins grabbed it and he was fouled on his shot. And he will head to the line for two shots. Wilkins' second free throw bounces all around the rim but goes in. And the Eagles trail 50 to 33. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Mike Perkins has the ball. He's going to drive. Gives it to Bachelor. Bachelor gets the ball. Back from Chris Lieb. Trying to get the ball to Park. Gives it back to Bachelor, and his three is good. 53 to 33 is the lead for the Panthers. Panthers have three players in double figures. Brendan Chrislip has 11. Mike Perkins has 14. And Elijah Malone has 10. Five seconds left in the third quarter. Corson will pull up from the volleyball line. And that will be on an offensive foul against the Eagles. I believe that is against Des Wilkins Maxwell. And it is. That is his third. They called him for the push. And now Perry Heights will have the ball. 2.1 seconds remain in the third quarter. Pressure will lob it down to Perkins. His three-pointer is on the way. You've got to be kidding me. He makes it. And that is Perry Heights' second buzzer beater of the night. They had one to end the first half. And now they have one to end the third quarter. And have a 23-point lead. 56-33. to 33. Well, it's been the Mike Perkins show so far. He has 17 points, four rebounds, and two assists, four three-pointers on the night. And now the Eagles will start with Bryce Rock, Jackson Clark, Michael Cox, Noah Hunt on the floor. Truck has the ball on the left wing. Clark comes off the screen. Thought about the three. Has his dribble poked away by Ethan Hoover. Bryce Rock will drive, gives it out to Staten. Back to Cox, he will drive out to Clark. His pull-up jump shot is on the way, and it's good. 56 to 35 is the score in the fourth quarter. Jackson Clark has nine points, three rebounds, and two assists. Kohler has the ball. He's going to give it to Panic. 
pass inside to Chris Lieb. 58 to 35. It's a 23 point deficit. Six minutes and 58 seconds remaining in the game. Well, this is a good time for these young Eagles who don't typically get into varsity games to get some experience. So when their name is called later in the season when it may matter in a close game, they have experience and are ready. When their name is called, Kohler dumps it inside to Ethan Hoover. And it is just getting poured on basket after basket, 60 to 35, Prairie Heights. Second free throw is good and now Kohler is the fourth Panther to score in double digits with 10 points, three rebounds, and four assists. Crochet, Tricor drive gives it to Michael Cox, hand off to Staten. Doug has the ball in the corner, back to Staten. Noah Hunt's three is on the way, too strong. Rebounded by Lewis Staten. Kicks out to Daiga to Schrock. His three's on the way. No good. Offensive rebound, Noah Hunt, and he will lay it in. 62 to 39 is the lead. And that is Noah Hunt's first basket of the night. Bryce Schrock, he starts for the JV team, but he is now in, getting his first varsity minutes. Passes to Daiga. His three in the corner is no good. Rebound by Logan Parr. And Cameron Pettick will bring the ball. Push up ahead to Hoover. Back to Pennick. Back to Pennick. His three is short. Rebound by Lewis Staten. Gives it up to Bryce Corson who checks back into the game. With 14 points, three rebounds, one assist, and two three-pointers. Corson gives the ball to Staten. Comes off the screen and spins off his defender. Tiger gets the ball, passes to Schrock in the corner, but the ball is through his hands. And that is now the Eagles' 10th turnover of the game. 64 to 39 is the score with four minutes and seven seconds left. Not a lot has gone right for the Eagles in this game, especially in the second half. It was just a nine point deficit at halftime, but they are now down 64 to 39. Daya gets the ball off the turnover, pass up ahead to Schrock. Nice pass inside, and the layup is good by Josh Bevere. And that is his first basket of the night. 64 to 31. Three minutes and 40 seconds left in the game. Pass inside to Seth Schroer. His layup is no good. Here comes Bryce Corson in the Eagles. Pass inside to Lewis Dayton. His layup is no good. He had a wide open layup, but Lewis Dayton laid it, left it short. Off the pass from Bryce Corson. Joe Duggan has the ball at the top of the key. He will drive, spin. His jumper is too strong. Rebound tipped out to Logan Parr. And now Ethan Hoover will bring the ball up for Prairie Heights. Wide open was Cameron Pennick. He drives. His layup is an air ball. Takes it out to Seth Troyer. His three is long. Bounces off the rim. Rebound by Lewis Dayton. Takes off ahead with Josh Revere. His layup is no good, but he is fouled on his way up. And he will head to the line with two shots. And the Eagles trailing 67-41. to 41 with a minute and 59 seconds left in the game. And now Gavin Kohler will bring the ball up. Seth Shore has the ball at the top of the key, cleared by Lewis Staten. Gets it to Hoover who pump fakes, doesn't get a reaction. Troyer comes off the screen from Parr. That doesn't go anywhere. Parr has the ball bounced off his knee, stolen by Josh Rivera. He's in transition and his layup is too strong. He didn't use the backboard. Tried to swish it instead of using the glass, which is known as the basketball player's best run in the paint. Pennick will drive. Nice pass inside to Ethan Hoover, and his layup is good. 69 to 42, 57 seconds left, and that will lead to a timeout by Coach Hibbard and the Eagles. This is Eagles basketball on 88.1 WVPE HD3. 55 seconds remain in this one. It has been a game to forget for the Eagles. They trail 69 to 42. And now a whole lot has gone right. They just have not been able to stop Gavin Kohler, Brandon Chris Lee, Mike Perkins, and Elijah Malone. Those four players all are in double figures. Gary Kohler on the season is averaging 13.7 points as Joe Daiga hits a jump shot. 69 to 44. That is like a seven point, seven point of the night to go along with six rebounds. 
Mike Perkins is averaging 13 points per game. He has 17 on the night, exceeding his season total. And Elijah Malone has 12 points on the year. Eight seconds remaining, and Prairie Heights will just triple this one out. They get a well-deserved 69 to 44 win. Now that went right for the Eagles. Their leaders for the Eagles, Bryce Carson, 14 points, three rebounds, one assist, and two three-pointers. Jackson Clark, nine points, three rebounds, and two assists. Joe Daga, seven points, six rebounds, and one assist. For Prairie Heights, Garrett Kohler, 12 points, three rebounds, and four assists. Brandon Chrisley, 13 points, three rebounds, five assists, and two three-pointers. Mike Perkins, 17 points, four rebounds, and two assists. And Elijah Malone, 10 points, and six rebounds.